Welcome to this PS and 30 Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Tutfit.com. We try to cover every feature and every tool in Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It's usually a little bit longer than that. Today we're throwing it way back to 1998 and before. For those of you Microsoft Paint enthusiasts, let me present to you the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. It's slightly more useful in the paint bucket tool um, in Microsoft Paint, but let's just run over what you do with it. Basically, it's just gonna throw your foreground color wherever you click, and depending on how high or low your tolerance setting is up here, it's going to um, convert, well, let's just, let's give it a shot here. So we got this, this blue sky, right? I click with the paint bucket tool. It throws in some black. Now it's not full black because the opacity of the tool is set at 24%. If we set it to 100, you can see full black only on part of the sky. Let's undo that. If we increase the tolerance, it's going to say, all right, the blue doesn't quite have to be as close. And we click it and you can see all kinds of stuff is going on here. Now notice how it found even some blue down here. Well, if we only want it to stick to like um, conjoined pixels, pixels that are touching one another, we can tick on contiguous. See, now it's going to only be up here in the sky. You can also sample from all layers. If you do this, now we can do this sort of more non-destructively by creating a new layer and boom, dropping the paint in. But it's up here in its own layer where, of course, we can then always go back and adjust the opacity or the blend mode whenever uh, we so wish. I'm going to just delete that layer. One of the things or probably the thing that I use um, the paint bucket tool for when I do use it, let's just create a new layer here. It's much more effective when you're just kind of filling shapes uh, or selections as you can see here. So I got the paint bucket tool. Now watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to click and it's not going to fill the whole selection. Why? It's because I have all layers ticked on. So when I have all layers ticked on, it is going to constrain the fill within my selection, but it's still looking at the pixels underneath and just filling in those similar blue pixels. Let's undo that. Command or Control Z. I'm going to shut off all layers. When I do this, it's just going to fill in my shape 100% opacity or whatever my setting is up here in the toolbar and keep it right there within the selection. All right. So that's filling solid uh, colors with the paint bucket tool. We also have the option to fill patterns where you basically select a pattern where you can load a different pattern or use any of these different patterns here. Uh, let's just go with this funky blue pattern and you can fill the pattern just like that. Um, if we undo this, delete the layer. Filling patterns on top of other colors, like this image layer, works just the same way as filling solid colors. So it's only going to stick within those certain colors, um, you know, as, as the paint bucket tool finds them. So it's not going to fill everywhere. It's just going to do stuff that's within that 32 pixel degree tolerance, whatever it is uh, that Photoshop determines here based on the tolerance slider in the control bar. So we've spent way too much time talking about the paint bucket tool. So for the paint bucket tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.